is the heap of oats what we cut yesterday. I think there's about 120 ton there. They look all right to be honest. Morning. Right, so it is Sunday morning now, and we're on the move. As you can see, I've dropped the header off. That's in front. We're not going far though, we're just going over the other side of this field. If you remember yesterday, I said that that's actually winter oat seed. So uh, we want to cut the spring oats before we cut that field of winter oats. So we're going to go around to the spring oat field and, uh, and cut that one first, and then we'll try this one later on when it's uh, when the sun's out. The straw's a bit, still a bit green out there, so that's spring oats as well out there. Let's cut some more oats. It helps if we take the park brake off. I'm going to dust out the 3350 now. I'm going to do the same as yesterday, chop the headland, but I'm only going to go twice around the headland. So I'm not sure if you can see, but I've actually got Eric with me today. We snuck out, didn't we, boy? So yes, I didn't have him with me yesterday. I, uh, well, my little lad, Oscar, he, uh, he's become very attached to Eric. He, uh, they're like best friends at the moment and he just wants him, Eric to stay at home with him all the time. So yesterday morning, yesterday morning I ended up uh, leaving the dog at home because Oscar was crying because he wanted the dog to stay at home. But this morning, we snuck out before Oscar woke up, so we escaped. But no doubt I'll be getting a phone call soon to say that they want the dog to go home. So, well, I've actually been thinking about uh, buying a puppy. Well, I was, I was thinking about it until I saw the price. They've shot up; they've like doubled in price since uh, since the whole lockdown thing and everybody working from home. But which is wrong, really, isn't it? Because when people go back to work, the puppies will be left at home by themselves but what I want to do is buy another cocker pup um, that will that will live that will you know stay at home with the wife and the kids and uh, and then I can have Eric back then it is a little bit chewy this morning the uh, we want the Sun to come out really the moisture has gone up 15.5% but that's alright because we'll mix that in with some of the really dry stuff what we had yesterday. Yesterday afternoon some of those oats were coming in at about 10% moisture so um, three quarters full. Yeah we'll just mix that slightly moist stuff in with the dry stuff and it'll be fine. Alright folks so I decided to quickly put the drone up. Turns out it's only got half a battery so it won't last very long. But um, yeah so I'm in the last field of spring oats at farm two to stop to unload because there's a tree in the way 
but just coming down the bank in the field on the other side is a uh, an S690 on the neighbouring farm. My brother was actually driving it, so I was hoping to get some better footage, but I'm not going. I've only got a couple minutes of battery left, so I have had some video of it before last year. So if you go back, want to see it closer up, have, go and have a look back at the videos from last year. Right, we're away again now. We should get most of the way around the field now without having to unload. Right, so I finished the spring oats at farm two, and now I've got 22 hectares of uh, winter oats that were planted in the spring, basically. And uh, I'm just coming up the side of the field. It's a bit tough and chewy. The straw's still a bit green, but the grain is the grain is uh, is fit. The moisture's doing a bit of a weird thing right now. So it's 24% moisture, which uh, we won't be going very far if it's that, but I find that hard to believe. There must be a bit of wet straw getting mixed in with it or something. There we go, that. it's saying 7.9% now. So yeah, we I might just try and get the headland off this evening. And, and then we'll leave the land work till tomorrow, 11.5% moisture. We'll leave the land work till tomorrow, uh, they, I don't think we've got rain till uh, Wednesday anyway, so and I haven't got anything else to cut after this field and to, um, for another like five, six days. The oats at farm one, they're nowhere near ready yet. They've still got lo they got more green in the straw than this. I don't know if you can see it here, but you can see a bit of a dip in the crop. There's a circle that goes round massive circle. There's obviously some sort of ancient uh, foundations there. Some sort of uh, building maybe used to be out here. I should probably turn the radio down. Um, probably hundreds of years ago I expect. But there was obviously something there at some point. 
I know we've, we've been able to see it before when we put the drone up before we've been able to see uh, quite a few markings in the crops down here this field and the, the big one over there so it's actually uh, Monday afternoon now um, yeah I tried to cut those well I tried I did once run the headland of this field yesterday evening but I gave up too chewy and they were high in moisture so we thought we'd just pack it in and dry again today I only started at lunchtime it's only a 22 hectare field uh, so yeah and so far it's well the second time around the headland was a bit chewy on the tram line but once we got through that it's going okay you might be able to hear it you can still hear it going through the you can see Eric look he's fast asleep you can still hear it going through the combine because it's a bit chewy but it's going all right we're on 13% uh, moisture six tons to the hectare or 5.9 so yeah, we're getting it done anyway. Uh, you see this line here, look? That's not crop markings. That's somebody that decided to drive around in the field with a quad bike um, last Thursday. So I'm not even sure if the gate was left open, but they got in here somehow and just, just decided to go for a joyride around the oats. Um, yeah. Oh, it's just a bit annoying. Looks like they've been round a couple of times, to be honest. There's a couple of tracks there. I don't know what they were trying to achieve by driving around out here. It's just to annoy us guys, I guess. Just to make a point that they're, they're about. But, yeah, so. The plan for today is to get this finished and then that's all the oats done here then at farm two. That'll be everything cut at farm two apart from the spring beans and that's about 50 hectares. So tomorrow we're going to move back home, back to farm one. I don't think we're going to cut anything tomorrow uh, because the oats there aren't quite ready. Um, so yeah, and plus they're forecasting rain for Wednesday, Thursday. So the straw would probably just go and get wet. So yeah, we'd probably just wait till the weekend maybe. Wrong way from one end of the field to the other. I nearly didn't make it, I'm full. But I think it's about a kilometer up there. With Jeremy in the 6150R. You gonna unload. Eric's just chilling. Hey boy, Eric's got the life. Get off my account. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> He's done a run up. He's just done a run up. So he always comes back eventually. He's back. He's been letting off a bit of steam. Are you gone? There he is, look. Where you been? Eric. He's a good boy. He's been sat in the combine all afternoon. Hey, boy. Eric. What do you reckon? Hey? What do you think? Home time. Home time? <laughs> 